Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this particular video is regarding the scientific officer recruitment from BARC, B-A-R-C, that is Baba Atomic Research Center. So they have announced their recruitment for scientific officer uh, group A position and how you can apply for it, what are the important dates, what is the eligibility criteria, all the informations I'm going to discuss in this particular video. So the link to come up to this particular page is there in the description of this video you can directly come up to this particular page and here you can see it says recruitment of scientific officer in the department of atomic energy post uh, a group a post of government of india through oces dgfs 2023 program of barc training school now here are your important dates first of all let's look upon them so the online registration has already started from 4th of february and it will go till 5th of March. So that is the date between which you can apply. Window for online fee payment is going to be started from 4th of February again till 6th of March. So the time window for the candidate to confirm their participation in online exam and subsequently allocation of exam center venue uh, to the candidate will be done between 14th of March to 24th of March. Last date for uploading GATE 2023 scorecard because that is also one of the way of applying for it that is 24th of March then online exam will be on 8th of April or 9th of April display of list of candidates who are shortlisted will be on 24th of April and availability based upon online application portal for interview will be between 26th of April to 6th of May and selection uh, based upon interview will be declared on 16th of uh, May to 16th of June and then display of list of candidates who are finally selected will be tentatively on in by 7th of july so these are the dates which are basically tentative dates and that's what is they have announced uh, so we will look upon it that how you can exactly apply for it but before in going into that if you go over here there are some reference documents you can read about them but the most important one is detailed advertisement so let me show you how and what are the basic things which are required eligibility and all the details are here in the advertisement so if you click on this you will be able to download the advertisement and i have downloaded it i have highlighted some important points from there so let's have a look upon them okay so this is how your uh, like the advertisement is going to get uh, downloaded so this is department of atomic energy dae uh, which comes under government of india and this is uh, they are basically inviting engineering graduates and science post graduates to apply for it now basically i'll talk about chemistry and i'll talk about science graduates over here because our channel resonates with that so i'll not be talking about engineering and the other subjects but yeah the information about them is also there so i have highlighted few points let's look upon it first of all this is a training scheme and the employment description which is given in the first section it says that one year of orientation course for engineering graduates and science post graduate for the year 2023-24 this is called oces so you can apply for this basically science graduates can apply only for oces right now uh, there are different institutes which comes under department of atomic energy dae all these names of institutes are over here like barc igcar rrcat so many institutes are there so based upon your performance based upon the availability of seats and all you will be recruited to any one of these institutes all right so if you come a little down here is the selection process so the selection process is a two-step process it includes in screening uh, through the entrance exam and selection interview so there are two steps basically entrance exam and the interview and uh, the rest of the part of this tells you a little bit more about it so it says the screening of the selection interview is through two alternative channels so there are two ways in which you can go for interview one is through the screening examination which i said uh, the online screening examination or online exam will be there so it will be conducted on the nine engineering disciplines which are given and four science disciplines uh, which includes chemistry as well on any of the online screening test center okay now uh, second way is through gate okay through your gate score so through uh, gate score also you can apply so candidate will be screened on the selection interview on the basis of valid gate score. So either you can go to interview through the gate score or you can go to the interview through the screening examination. Now they have given you a tip that the cutoff for the gate score for a screening into selection interview will be decided only after the online test has conducted and candidates are therefore advised to maximize their chances of being screened into the selection interview stage by availing both the screening avenues detailed above. That means they want you to apply through both these methods 
through the screening exam also and through gate score also just in the case that you can maximize your chances of getting selected okay so you can choose both these options to apply now if i come a little down so the final selection is solely based on the performance in the interview so this is just the screening test or the uh, or the gate score is just the way of reaching to the interview once you reach to the interview all your uh, selection is going to depend upon your performance in the interview right now subject to medical fitness of course medical fitness is also required okay let's talk about eligibility criteria okay so what are the academic requirements which are required or what are the qualifying degrees which are required i'll talk about chemistry so for chemistry discipline which has code number 42 you require msc in chemistry with physics up to bsc level or at subsidiary or ancillary level in case of five year integrated msc that means if you are a five year integrated msc student you should have physics till class 12th right and mathematics at standard 12th or bsc or at subsidiary and, and ancillary level so basically you should have physics in the bsc level and also mathematics so in case if you are not having physics and mathematics in your uh, like bsc or in your 12th level in that case you cannot apply under for the chemistry stream okay so you cannot apply for that yeah for that you can go for biological sciences and all but for chemistry stream you cannot do that now must additionally have minimum of 60 percent aggregate marks in bsc so these are the criteria okay to be to just summarize it you should have msc in chemistry with 60 percent marks in bsc and 60 percent marks in msc as well now apart from these 60 percent marks you, you should also have physics in your bsc and mathematics in your class 12th or bsc okay so if it is in class 12th also maths is in class 12th also then also it will work even if the maths is not there uh, in bsc so because they have given or over here so you should have mathematics in class or standard 12th or at bsc okay fine now those who have msc with the specialization in subjects like industrial chemistry textile chemistry applique, applied chemistry environmental chemistry petroleum chemistry nano sciences nanotechnology pharmaceutical chemistry etc they are not eligible so just pure sciences pure chemistry students are eligible applied chemistry and all those subjects if you are done if you have done msc in these subjects then you are not eligible to apply now this for this you will be eligible to apply for oces okay for oces that is uh, oces so there are two streams basically or two ways of application one is oces for pure sciences and engineering students and the other one is also there which is dgfs now dgfs is not for uh, science student it is only for engineering graduates that's why i'm not talking about dgfs in this particular video okay now apart from them there is one more way that is called as uh, for radiological safety and environmental science which is rses which has code 44 now rses is an additional training and scheme option to the applicants belonging to nuclear engineering physics and chemistry discipline okay and hence will not be have separate screening test or the selection interview so basically chemistry students are also eligible to apply for rses so they will be eligible for rses and uh, and the other one that is your uh, uh, oces okay so these are two schemes for which you are eligible for now let's talk about the age limit so you the maximum age limit which is given to you is for general category it is 26 years for obc non creamy layer it is 29 years for scst candidate it is 31 years dependent of those who died in the rights of 18, 1984 this is again 31 years uh, now you can read about it person uh, domiciled in kashmir and jammu and kashmir state uh, they are also having a relaxation and their age is 31 year physically challenged person also have a relaxation of 10 years minimum age uh, limit is 18 years so you should be above 18 years and maximum the age limit which are given to you and the age which they are counting is on uh, august 1st 2023 your nationality must be citizen of india of course and uh, then let's talk about application fees so the application fees is rupees 500 only for uh, general and obc category male candidate okay for female candidates or for women candidates and for all the other categories there is no fees fees is exempted for them now how you can apply for it basically in order to apply you have to just go to the 
website which i told you in the starting the link is there in the description you have to directly go there and you can register and apply right uh, code for chemistry is 42 you have to make sure that you uh, like while filling the form you are putting up the correct subject code you don't have to remember okay so the candidates applying for chemistry examination discipline selected in the bark training school at mumbai will be allotted either chemistry or RSES as, as their training scheme and those selected for the training school at IGCR will pursue nuclear fuel cycle chemistry NFCC in their training school. So they have just mentioned if you are filling with chemistry as the subject these are few of the exams or few of the centers for which you are eligible for. So BARC, BARC, RSES, IGCR and NFCC. Okay? These are the institutes for which you become eligible to apply or eligible to get selected. Apart from it, there are other points also like important dates which we have already discussed. What are the dates and what are the tentative dates for the exam and all the things. So, these are already given to you. I have already discussed about it. So, this was your detailed notification about the exam. Right. So, I will just keep the video up till here. If you guys are interested in knowing that how you can apply it for this. How to register, how to apply. So, I will make a separate video on that. So that part I will do it in a different video but for now I hope you guys are uh, like you have understood that what exactly this form is about and uh, what are the benefits of this and what is the eligibility criteria how to apply that I will discuss in a separate video if you guys are interested to know about right. So that's it from my side for this particular video it's a very good opportunity actually I will suggest you that if you are falling under the eligibility criteria you should apply for it and you should uh, try for this okay so that's it from my side thank you so much for watching See in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csi ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes Whereas in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes, we have to take an academy plus subscription. So do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes, which are quite organized. The whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there. So make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is N underscore Huda. That's it for this. Thank you so much.